span that has been reduced to two years by the Appeal Committee of the Nigerian Football Federation. Accordingly, he is disqualified and cannot participate in this election. Southwest, Chief Shegu Odebami, Southwest, Ogun State, he applied for president, not cleared. Chief Shegu Odebami, reasons for disqualification. No purchase receipt attached to nomination form. No endorsement on the nomination form. All right, that's uh, the Electoral Committee of the Nigerian Football Federation making some pronouncements uh, about candidates uh, not cleared for elections into the Executive Committee of the Nigerian Football Federation. He mentioned Mike Kume not cleared, uh, that he bought the form to be the vice president and submitted the form to be a president. I don't understand how exactly how he did that. He bought the form to be a vice president and submitted the form uh, to be to contest for the presidency. That's confusing to me. And then he talked about the child who will be still serving uh, a ban that hasn't been lifted. And then he talked about uh, Shegun I mean, not getting his form endorsed and not attaching a receipt to his nomination form. Plenty of controversy going around um, the Nigerian Football Federation elections. And let's go to Abuja um, very quickly and um, meet um, Arabat Ali, who is an Abuja-based uh, broadcaster who joins us on sports tonight uh, to shed more light on how it went because he was there at that briefing. Arafat, thank you for joining us on, on sports tonight. Um, Arafat, what do you feel will happen? Are we still going to have elections August 26 with all the controversy that has trailed today's pronouncement by the Electoral Committee? Uh, well, first of all, um, it is the power of the Congress. We know that um, the uh, Congress is uh, the final decision-making body when it comes to electoral matters. August 26 is supposed to be an elective Congress, but uh, from the mail sent out, the press release sent out by our Algeria today, I'm sure uh, there will be an extra on that or emergency, as they call it, before that. So uh, from my point of view, I, I don't see elections visible because too many issues upon issues. We say uh, things are happening, and they're not happening in the right way. Uh, I don't know if uh, illegality upon illegality is the right word to use, but I, I think what we did see today from the Electoral Committee uh, Snell, uh, speaks a lot of uh, the wrongdoings that have happened uh, before now. Uh, are you also surprised that um, they came out with a pronouncement like this um, when a lot of people complained about being disenfranchised and not being able to buy forms towards the end? of the deadline for the purchase and submission of forms. Are you surprised that for a long time we didn't hear anything from the Electoral Committee until they came up with today's uh, pronouncement? Well, I think it's uh, rather disappointing because uh, every electoral process should be transparent, visible, and should carry the uh, fourth estate of the realm. That's you and I along. It's uh, rather simple that since the Amoni uh, Biambo uh, Committee started sitting, they only uh, deemed it right to tell Nigerians how far they have gone with just the announcement of candidates that have qualified. I know this process. I went to this process four years ago. Once you release your calendar, you announce how many forms you have put on the table. You announce how many people have been, have picked up forms, how many people you intend to screen. What is the screening format? Are they coming in or you're screening them? Uh, from their base, or you're just screening documents that they do have. What are the yardsticks you put on the table to determine who and who qualifies to contest for the final election? You just come out with the name. And before now, we know that the process has been characterized with lamentations and complaints of people being disenfranchised, not getting forms to fill and get nominations for the election. It's totally unfair. It, it's not the process. It's supposed to be a, an all-commerce affair. The more, the merrier. The more, the option. The more you, Nigerians get to know, okay, who and who is the better candidate. But if you narrow it to one, uh, sorry to say, Tony, let me go down to today's event. Four people com comes in for presidency. You now screen out three. Yes, one screened out on the grounds that he filled the form 
He got a form of vice president and filled as president. He screened out. He didn't submit his receipt. He didn't show receipt that he got get the form. Another person screens out because he has a pending ban. And the third person didn't even get a nomination, the person of Shegun Otil Dami. So all these processes, it goes to one person. Before now, we have been hearing news that one person is a government candidate, one person is this. It all plays out. And it, it, it speaks loud of how shabby the electoral process had been. Harapa, before I allow you to go, um, we were told that immediately after the pronouncement um, by the Electoral Committee, the NFF came out and disowned uh, their, their pronouncements and threatened that we were going to dissolve them at the next annual General Assembly. But also, we were told that the Sports Minister also spoke to the media um, about the whole story, the whole crisis, rocking the electoral process into the Executive Committee of the NFF. What exactly? Did the sports minister say? And um, can we really hold him to his words? Because some people are asserting that the minister knows everything about what is going on about um, the current position of uh, the elections into the NFF Executive Committee. Well, uh, uh, for, from what you have just summarized, uh, let, let me just put you through the pictures. I don't know if you have time. Mm. After Amoni Biambo uh, briefed the press with two questions, the, the, the bone of contention mostly was. How can you clear Ahmed Fresh and not clear Tawo Ogunjabi? Okay, and because the, Ahmed Fresh is under a ban. The Electoral Committee claims, now, the Electoral Committee claims that they are not aware that Ahmed Fresh has a one-year provisional suspension. And you and I know that the Secretary of the Electoral Committee is the Secretary General of the Nigerian Football Federation. Mm. He tells the law that information has been hoarded for any reason, I cannot explain. The Minister of Sports, give it to him. The first move he made, they said it was government interference. Now, you cannot differentiate between government interference and government intervention. He waited for the Nigerian Football Federation to brief him today on the happening. And his position was very clear, that he understands the lamentation of the leadership of the Football Federation, who says the process has not been free, the process has not been fair, and it has not been transparent. And his word is, we, the National Sports Commission, would back the football federation on any decision they take, so long as they would provide a free, a fair, and a transparent process that will bring out the best candidate. So he, he says the best candidate to lead Nigerian football to the next level. Mm. Now, the concern of the ministry is for them to have peace in the NFF. I'm sure with that backing, the NFF came out with the position that it is not right for the process to go on because they feel it is not free, not fair, and not transparent. Well, Arafa Valu, thank you so much for speaking to us on Sports Tonight. I'm sure that in the days ahead, we'll still have to call you to get more updates for, from you around all that is going on um, in uh, the, the glass house uh, in Abuja. We've been speaking to uh, a broadcaster in Abuja, Arafat Aliu, who has been giving us information and details about what has gone down today uh, in the Secretary of the Nigerian Football Federation Electoral Committee with the pronouncements that have been made. Oye, very quickly, let me allow you to say a few things. By the way, the pretty CC has joined us, but we can't get CC involved right now because it's controversy. All right, so we just keep CC out for a little while. But Oye, very quickly, you know we spoke about it, the Electoral Committee, we talked about the time that they dropped two members, and we said, when you drop two members, you replace immediately because the minimum of seven and the maximum of nine members must be maintained in line with the FIFA standard electoral code. Now more crisis, more confusion. Yeah, Tony, um, but first of all, I want to react to what um, Arafat said. Mm. Elections anywhere is not an all commerce affair. Mm. It's not an all commerce. What, what, what do you mean? There must be a criteria. Absolutely. Well, if you say an all commerce affair, it means that anybody, even the goat, can aspire to, mm. to the position. There must be guidelines. It must be some yes, conditions. People will aspire. Mm. The question is, uh, have they been able to meet the guidelines or not? Mm. You know, we said it uh, right from 